Stop beeping. Thank you. If you own a Mavic Pro and you're having problems with your camera cover, if you're having problems with your camera cover, your camera cover, and you need a replacement, today's video is for you. What I want to share with you is with my Mavic Pro, if you're having issues with your lens cover, I pick up an aftermarket one that seems to work pretty well. So I just wanted to take a look at it and show you guys how it fits if you happen to be in the market for a replacement. The reason that I picked this up is I have a small stress fracture, stress fracture, fat fracture. I have a small stress fracture right here on the tab that keeps mine in so it tends to want to fall out when I'm in travel or moving around. So I grabbed this aftermarket one from lightake.com. It was really cheap. So I figured might as well grab one and see how it fits. I just want to show you guys the differences and let you know what I think. Can you tell which one's which? Is that the original or is that the original? They're pretty much exactly the same. Except if you look really closely, you can see the tint is a little bit different in this one than this one. This one has sort of a bluish purple tint to it, which you can see sort of in the edges. And this one has more of a gray tint to it. Both are relatively clear. I don't ever fly with these attached, but I will today just to see if the image looks any different at all through them. Here you can see the crack in mine right at this seam right here. And due to that, it tends to fall off and not really stick on. Now, one difference I can tell you right offhand is that they are slightly different in size, or at least the outside diameter is. If you take the silicone cover and put it on your original one, you'll notice that it fits fairly snug. However, if you take that same silicone cover and put it on your new aftermarket one, there's quite a bit of space. I don't know if you can see it, but you can feel it. Like there's a, a much bigger, spacing around the whole edge so it doesn't tend to want to stay on. Litake does sell other silicone covers in multiple different colors. I did not get one so I'm not sure if it will fit their covers properly or not. If you're getting one of these just as a replacement, not to fly with, but just to protect your camera, then that really doesn't matter. Let me show you the fit on both of these. This is taking your Mavic with the original one and popping it on there. You can see the crack on my original right here, and due to that, it tends to fall off. And yes, I had the gimbal lock off on purpose, just so you can see a little bit of movement in here as I'm moving it around now. But it typically just comes off pretty easy. The replacement is tight. It's very tight. And it fits really snug. I mean, it's, it's not coming off. Thing is on there. Plenty of room inside, it looks like. This one definitely doesn't just pull off. Now I can't say if the old one was that way or not because with this crack I really don't remember but I've always remembered mine coming off pretty easily and many times taking it out of my bag and this just be laying there like so. So I don't normally fly with these. Actually, I never fly with these on. But I do know a lot of beginning pilots or newer pilots like to leave these on over their camera when they're first starting out to just have a little more confidence and protect their camera. So what I wanted to do is a flight with each of these covers on so that you could see the difference. So I did two flight paths with waypoints so that the flight and video would be exactly the same. The only difference is using these. I'm not gonna color correct it. I'm not gonna do any adjustments. This should show you if the tinting actually makes a difference. Don't listen to everybody else who tells you, oh, don't ever fly with the gimbal cover on. If it's what you wanna do, you can. There is no problem with overheating. That is a bullshit rumor that is spread through the DJI forums and other forums. You will not overheat with this on. I can sit there in a hover for 20 minutes to do a time lapse with this baby with no winds where I'm getting less cooling through the entire thing because it's just sitting there still. So don't listen to the bullshit. Overall, for saving three, four bucks, this is not a bad little guy. The only thing that I've noticed, it seems to be just slightly smaller so that the original silicone cover doesn't fit 100% correctly. But if you're just getting this as a cover for transport, 
that's not that big of a deal. If you're looking to save a few dollars on a replacement, this is not a bad way to go. I will put the link down in the description. That being said, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video with the two Waypoint flights showing the original first and then the replacement. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. I'll have links to these in the description. Thanks and see you next time.